Greetings everyone, in this video we will be looking at NC level 3 probability distributions achievement standard and in this video I will be focusing on drawing a normal distribution graph. In my previous video I have already gone through uh, properties of uh, normal distribution and here is a quick recap. Uh, you already know that uh, it is a bell shaped uh, curve and it is symmetrical and mean and median uh, is the 50th percentile and standard deviation is the uh, measure of uh, spread. So we know that uh, mean captures 50%, so mean is at the center, and then uh, mean plus the first standard deviation, and we've got mean minus the first standard deviation, so we'll need to know that 68% of the data is within one standard deviation, likewise 95% of the data is within uh, two uh, standard deviation of the mean, and uh, within three standard deviation it captures approximately 99% of the data. So um, here's the values. I'd suggest you can pause the video and uh, take notes of these because you'll be using these uh, to sketch the uh, uh, probability distribution uh, function. In this example, it says the time that students take to complete a math and logic puzzle is normally distributed with a mean of uh, 18 minutes and standard deviation of 4 minutes. And then the question says sketch the probability distribution model uh, for the time taken to complete the math and logic puzzle. So for this one, we'll... Uh, Label the axis uh, time in minutes uh, for them to uh, complete the math and logic puzzle. And uh, we are already given mean, and we know that mean will be uh, at the center. So we can locate the mean. So here we got 15, 16, 17, 18. So we'll start off with uh, 18 at the center, and then mean plus the first standard deviation, standard deviation is 4 minutes, so 18 plus 4 is 22, likewise 18 minus 4, because it's on either side, so 18 minus 4 is 14, and uh, using this logic we can find the uh, value within second standard deviation, so if I got 22 plus 4, gives me 26, and then 14 take away 4 is uh, 10, so that's within the second standard deviation and then third standard deviation. So we've got 26 plus uh, 4, which is 30, and uh, 10 take away 4, which is uh, 6. So I've got the uh, uh, x values for so the um, range of values from 6 to 30 that will capture approximately 99% of the data. So that's within three standard deviation. So using uh, mean of 18, I will draw the uh, line here. And I know it will peak, so that's why I've got a um, big line here. And then on 14 and 22, I can draw a vertical line roughly halfway through. We just approximate it, and uh, we try and get a nice um, bell-shaped curve. So we'll do the same thing with um, 10 and 26 and also 6 and 30 something like this now once you've uh, got this then we can draw a bell-shaped curve passing through uh, these points here something like this and uh, there you have it uh, we've got a uh, normal uh, probability distribution that will model the uh, uh, scenario that was given so these are the uh, rough estimates for the um, y values so in the assessment, if you uh, really want to know the um, probabilities for each of these uh, values, we can use graphics calculator to uh, find that. And I will quickly show you that. So on your graphics calculator, from the main menu, uh, select uh, stats menu, and then uh, distributions. And we are looking at normal distribution. And in this case, we are finding the uh, exact value for each of those uh, standard deviations that we have chosen. So we'll uh, click on uh, NPD because that's for the exact point. And uh, the first one was at the mean. So mean was 18. And that's what our X value is as well. And then the standard deviation was 4 in the question. And the mean value was 18. And this gives you a probability value of 0 0.099. And... Uh, then uh, we can look at the next one. So we had uh, 22. So you'll see uh, if I just change that to x value of 22, the probability is um, approximately 0 0.06. So we had 0 0.09, then 0 0.06. And then uh, if I change that to 26, and remember it's symmetrical on either side, so it will have the same probabilities on either side. 26 gives you 0 0.01. So uh, I'll quickly show you uh, 
where we can um, use this so we had 0 0.09 0 0.06 and 0 0.01 these are approximate values as a guide for you to sketch the uh, uh, normal curve so the first value we had was 0 0.09 approximately so if i look at this so i've got one two three four five six seven eight nine so it was 0 0.099 roughly so that um, sort of matches with that and the next one was 0 0.06 so one two three four five six so nearly 0 0.06 there and uh, third one was 0 0.01 Three, so that's approximately uh, matching with the values that we have got and 0 0.001 and uh, so you can see that uh, this graph is uh, accurate I hope this makes sense I would suggest you can pause the video and uh, try this yourself in the assessment if you are asked to sketch the uh, normal distribution uh, curve start from the mean value and then on either side of the mean you plus one standard deviation from the mean and then uh, you do the same thing with twice the standard deviation and uh, within three standard deviation you should be able to uh, get roughly 99 percent of the data and then you can sketch the uh, graph thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video